Hello, and welcome to episode 2 of Sarastro's Star Wars painting series. In this episode, we're going to paint the Imperial probe droids from Fantasy Flight's Imperial Assault. There are many ways to paint any figure. The aim of this series is to share just one of these many methods that hopefully anyone will be able to follow and use to produce fantastic results. We'll be painting our droids using the following steps. We'll prepare and spray the miniatures in the usual way, but this time we'll use a grey primer. Then we'll apply a silver coloured dry brush to the entire figure. We'll follow that with two dark washes. And our finishing touches will include painting the lenses and adding some metallic battle scars. As the droids are quite fragile, I've chosen not to mount mine whilst painting them as I normally would, except for the final stage when we paint the bases. Let's begin. We'll prepare the figures in the same way we prepared the Stormtroopers, except I'm using Army Painter's Uniform Grey instead of White. The particular shade of grey isn't that important however, and a black primer would also be fine. Now we're going to apply a silver dry brush, which we will later cover with a wash to give a darker matte finish. I'm using Citadel's Necron compound, which should be used straight out of the pot, but any good silver paint will do the job as long as you don't add water for this particular technique. Ideally we want a large flat brush. I'm using this size 10 by Rosemary & Co. And all we do is get some paint on the brush, then wipe most of it off. We then begin repeatedly brushing the miniature with the flat of the brush. Our aim here isn't to cover the entire miniature, but to hit mainly the raised and flat areas, leaving the nooks and recesses untouched. Dry brushing is a fairly easy and rough technique, but will serve our purpose as well. It introduces the metallic element to our droids, and provides some highlighting to all of the raised edges and surfaces. These droids have now been dry brushed, which means they're ready for the dark wash. Although a straight black wash at this stage would be fine, I think a slightly dirty brown would be more interesting. So I'm going to mix some brown, Agrax Earthshade, with my black, Null Oil. You could also opt for more of a bluish look by adding a blue shade, like Drakenhof Nightshade, instead of the brown. I'm using a large brush, size 3, to measure out two parts of the Null Oil with one part of the Agrax Earthshade. Then, just as with the Stormtroopers, we brush the wash over the entire miniature, ensuring that we get into every nook and cranny. We can see that the wash shades the recesses beautifully, darkens the miniature, and when dry, we can see that it does a good job of dulling the metallic sheen, making the droids less shiny. This is a simple step that's hard to get wrong, but it's a good idea to check the tiny holes on the legs and if necessary, use a smaller brush to ensure that the wash gets into every one. Once they're dry, we can see that the droids already look 10 times better than when they were unpainted, but could do with being a shade darker to more closely match the look of the droids from the movies. To achieve that, we simply add a second wash using the same mix used previously. You may of course continue adding additional layers of wash to darken the droids to your liking, for these three, I'm going to stop after their second wash, before applying some finishing touches. We're going to add some simple but effective weathering to give these droids a bit more character, by using a small brush and some bright silver to add some chips and scratches to the metal. We want to concentrate mostly on the edges of the metalwork, where we might expect most of the chipping to have occurred.
This damage also serves the function of a very rough highlight, in that it adds a brighter element to some of the raised parts of the model, creating a nice bit of contrast against the darker, matte finish of the droid. It can be tricky to judge just how much chipping to add. Sometimes it's only by going too far that we realise how far too far is. At a minimum though, I like to rotate the figure and ensure that I have some weathering visible from every viewpoint. It's also worth remembering that it's better to have slightly too little weathering than too much. Next, we need to paint the lenses, and I'm going to use a simple black, which will look particularly effective after we've added a gloss varnish later on. But you could be more creative and use any colour you like. I'm also going to paint one of the small lights with a simple dab of light grey, followed by a pure white highlight. I'm using Citadel's Celestra grey, although you could easily mix your own shade. Then I paint on the white highlight. This is a small touch, but in the absence of any actual eyes, it does help to add a focal point for the figure. Now we need to paint the bases using our colour of choice. You can see here I've chosen to give a red rim to the base of my Elite Droid, and used black and grey to differentiate the others. Next we give the droids a coat of matte varnish, and once again I can't recommend Tester's Dull Coat highly enough for this. Then as a final touch we're going to brush some gloss varnish onto the lenses. We can see how effectively the varnish catches the light in the lenses that now have a glassy, spider-like quality. These droids are now complete. This brings our tutorial to an end. Thank you once again for watching and for your ongoing support of this series. Look out for further episodes in the coming weeks as we continue painting miniatures from Star Wars Imperial Assault. Happy painting!